Allness, allness, allness. Happy now, all is now to get to be in the present. First day signing back in here, putting out my perception into the cloud of the collective to expand the collective consciousness. You're now tuning into the mind of an alginate moon and Horus will be transiting the 11th house in the sky as I make this video. This is going to be my continuation on the moon signs. So my last video was moon in Capricorn. This is going to be moon in Aquarius. Okay. So yeah, let's look. Aquarius is born from the 11th house. This is the I know house. Okay. Last video. And this is Capricorn, which is the I utilize. Okay. I know. Okay. 11th house. Aquarius is that fixed air sign that is being ruled by Saturn, co-ruler Uranus. Okay, so the 11th house is dealing with unfamiliar places, faces, and how you conduct yourself within the public arena. Okay, so, moon in Aquarius. Okay, so again, like the Capricorn, you are emotionally emotionally detached because you both use uh, Saturn. But yours is even more, more detachy, if that's even a word. You are more detached than the Capricorn because, yes, the Capricorn uses uh, Saturn, but it's more Earth, you know? So Earth is like more, let's say, you know, practical to the floor you know Aquarius is air okay so emotionally you is detached okay emotionally you react and respond you know to yeah in a react and respond in a fixated way on how you can go about manifesting some sort of manifesting some sort of uh Stability in your life through your uniqueness, through your communication. So fixated communications on manifesting something, you know, something practical in this realm of reality we can see and touch through your uniqueness, through your own unique frequency vibration. Okay? Uh, Aquarius Moon, you know, these are people that, you know, when we talking about, let's say, Aquarius, we automatically, like, like I say, dealing with communications and associations. So with Aquarius Moon, you go about manifesting through your communication stuff. It could be unique to you, you know, because you have that Uranus influence. Okay, and Uranus is dealing with that, a... Uh, individuality, uh, uniqueness, rebelliousness, because to be a unique individual, you have to rebel against something, okay? So with your moon, you have moon and Aquarius is your inner world. So your inner world is looking like Saturn and Uranus, okay? It's looking like Saturn and Uranus. So you do see this 3D uh, matrix, this 3D practical matrix system that we live in this mundane system that we live in okay and right where the capricorn sees that as well because they use saturn saturn runs this physical mundane practical 3d realm that we live in right capricorn has this in intuitive feel for it and how to move with it into uh intuitively and how to manifest something practical in this 3d realm you have this let's say you know how to communicate and you know within this 3d realm okay you know how to yeah utilize your throat chakra right in a fixated way you know to to go about manifesting something something that can make you comfortable you know and this could be through you know yeah, anything, depending on the, on the spirit you like utilizing the energy here, okay? So you can go about manifesting something practical 
due to your individuality and you just your communication style and how you put yourself out there in the public in this 3D realm that we live in, okay? So this is fixated communication, okay? So whatever you identify, whenever you identify your individuality in this world, your uniqueness, aka your spirituality, if you're a spiritually inclined being, okay, you will be able to show this in this reality that we live in, okay, in a fixated type way, okay, fixated communication, you will be fixated on communicating about your individuality, your spirituality, and how you can go about showing your spirituality in a practical way, in a, in a Saturn type way, okay, when once you found out your individuality and how you want to express it in this world, with this placement, you won't be comfortable until that is done, okay? Okay, so that you know, your moon is your yin realm. Your, your yin realm, your internal world, your reactions. So reactions is, uh, you know, more, yeah, based on that communication. Okay, so air communicates to push out this information. Okay, so when we're talking about a, uh, Aquarius or AKA 11th house, this just includes associations and includes other beings that you can work with in this reality that we live in. Because when we're talking about air, air automatically deals with communication. Okay, so when you talk, when you, when we, going about manifesting something in this 3D realm, you automatically have to have someone else because to manifest a foundation to stand on all by yourself, I don't think that's ever been done. Okay, so you have this innate knowing for the association vibes. You know how to gather associations. You know how to gather people who are vibrating in your same frequency vibration, okay? And you are able to communicate to them each as an individual and beings who are on your frequency vibration are automatically individuals okay because you are looking for individuals people who have a unique sense a unique knack to them you don't want a mundane being because you use uranus as well so you use saturn co-ruler uranus so saturn is this mundane 3d life that we live in okay this matrix but with your uranus you look for individuals unique individuals in this 3d matrix that we can all bring together and show our unique individuality to show people that hey there are beings here that aren't mundane like you and maybe if you actually look at our individuality we can bring out some sort of individuality out of you okay with your moon in Aquarius. All right. And well, I would go ahead uh, and compare with your astrological siblings. I like to say your astrological siblings are just the same planets or signs who share the same elements with you. So here you got Aquarius. This is fixed air. You have Libra, which is cardinal air. You have Gemini, which is mutable air. So this is mutable adapt, mutable communication, adaptable communication. They use Mercury, okay? And this is the I communicate house. They use Mercury, okay? And they just communicate with their surroundings. This is the I balance house. They use a Venus. This is the masculine side of Venus. Masculine side of Mercury as well. Okay, masculine side of Venus, okay? And they communicate in their relationship for that one-on-one -on -one connection, that one-on-one -on -one balance. I actually care for the people I communicate in my relationship. You know, people I'm communicating, I actually care for their emotional health and their emotional well-being. I actually care for you one-on-one, -on -one, okay? Enough about me, how about you type shit, okay? But you are more on... Yeah, just communicating to bring all of them together. So this is the surrounding, this is the one-on-one, -on -one, and this is you, okay? So you bring all the group, you bring the group together, okay? And you guys can have this sort of 
all those communications, right? Communicating with the surroundings one-on-one. -on -one. Since you bring all the group, all of y'all can have all those communications intertwined in one group, one big Aquarian group, okay? So, yeah, this is a uh, Aquarius, Aquarius moon, okay? So you have this innate knowing and this innate knack, this inner knowing for, you know, uniqueness okay and showing your uniqueness in this reality that we live in okay and this could even be through you could say computers technology you could be good with technology and let's say the groups you even associate more than likely you all will be using technology because the 11th house is dealing with technology when we come closer to here in sciences you might be drawn towards certain sciences, okay? Certain philosophy, even astrology, okay? Even astrology, astrology is there in this ninth house as well. I mean, uh, 11th house, okay? Like I said, this is the house of the, un of the I know, okay? The house, the, the I know house, AKA age of Aquarius. We're in the age of Aquarius, okay? Dealing with, you know, information, where there's a lot of information out there on the technology, on the internet. This is why technology falls here in this house, okay? Age of Aquarius, where it's a plethora of knowledge, information on the internet, right? We can go and learn, okay? You can always learn through the internet, all right? You know? So yeah, all, all, lots of information streaming on the internet. All right, so yeah, first your sun and now, catch you next now, this is Aquarius Moon.